Today we are doing our final review on the Lolly Cadoodle Cat Cave, which the Cat Connection, an online retail store and, and also a um, brick and mortar retail store in Dallas, Texas sent us this as well as the Cat, ca cat Nest to product test. Um, and if you saw our arrival video, um, then you know what a hit this was from the start. But um, if you did not see our arrival video, it is well worth watching because this um, bed was such a hit from the start and has continued to be a hit. Um, so when I first got it, I, um, Bub, don't even try to care. Bubby, that's so rude. Oh, Bubby, that's so rude. Poor Tiki was trying to take a nap. He's not just trying to be napping. And Charlie's just trying to get in my cave. This is what he's doing. Oh, this is gonna be painful. <laughs> um, so... I got the box. I knew the box was coming. Erin at the Cat Connection um, had told us that she was sending us uh, the cave as well as the nest. And um, so I was planning on that. Oh, I'm so messed for it. Um, but what I wasn't planning on was the reaction. And I opened the box. I went to um, f finish my dinner and unload the dishes and that sort of thing. And, uh, <laughs> and all of a sudden, Trig, who was asleep in the kitchen with me, perked up, started smelling the air, like whiffing to see what, where, whatever smell he wanted to smell where it was coming from, and then went to find, find the box and started digging in the box to get to the beds. And of course, I didn't have my camera on me. It was downstairs, so I like ran down to get it, came back and um, got it for him. And so I didn't get his initial reaction of digging into the box to find the beds, but um, got the rest of it. So these beds are um, made from a wool felting process. And felting, uh, my aunt's a big crafter, so I kind of know what felting's about. It has to do with running wool and uh, warm water until it gets to a really condensed consistency like that. And oh, Charlie's like attacking. Um, so it doesn't allow a lot of dirt in, but it um, obviously likes cat hair a lot. So these beds are made in Nepal with wool from New Zealand. The artisans in Nepal, um, according to Lolly Cadoodle, who uh, is the manufacturer of the beds, um, or I should probably say the reseller, um, are treated very fairly. So that can make you feel good. <laughs> so they're ki they're kind of truly global beds in the sense that they are. It's New Zealand wool, and then they're made in Nepal, and then they come to the United States from there. Um, this is the green. The ones that Cat Connection is selling right now all have this gray bottom, and then you can choose from um, pink, green, blue, purple. Pink, green, blue. I, uh, I can't remember the fifth, but uh, I'll include a link in the About section below to where you can um, go to Cat Connection's website and buy it. Um, <laughs> online. Um, wow! So, wow! We can do all sorts of things in the cat connection and, and in the cave. So that's the other thing is you can have the cave like this. You can have it on the side like I started out the video with. Um, it really just depends on what you think will work for your cat. And then uh, I've actually had it um folded up too to make it be more like a nest so I'll show you how that's done look at this are you watching us? Tiggy! 
Okay, so all I do to make it into a nest um, is remove the cat. <laughs> and then you can fold it in like this so that it becomes a bed. And the reason that I wanted to show everyone this is to say that if you order the cave and your cat doesn't like the cave thing, like for example, Charlie, although he just showed that he likes the cave would not normally go up to it. It was because I was showing attention to it. Whereas Trig would, Trig's, Trig likes small spaces. Um, but if you have any concern of whether or not your cat would like a cave or not, you can always um, transform it into this kind of a bed so that it's kind of um, convertible, if you will. Get in the bed so everybody can see you in the bed. Oh, I'm going to dig to China. China's in, in that bed. No, no, get back in the bed. In the bed for all the peoples to see. Thank you. <laughs> so well trained. Bub. But don't eat the felted wool. It's not for the kiddies to eat. He's like, I'm not eating the felted wool. I'm eating cheese hair. Bub. But what the heck, man? <laughs> oh gosh. Totally asking for it. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody needs his claws trimmed. <laughs> Bub, you totally need your claws trimmed. <laughs> Look at my wub. See, I do fit. Whoa, that's a nasty kitty. Well, me not. Put this in there. <laughs> How? <laughs> no, don't be a jack. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna get him situated better in the bed. He's a little too pissy pants. He reminds me of an Easter kitty right now. How a cat would look in an Easter basket. Show the people how the kitties fit in that bed. Okay, there we go, there's Oh, so pissy pants. So pissy. Oh, God. That wasn't pretty. All right, I'm going in for the head. Going in for the face. Ready? One. Oh, God. Two. Three. <laughs> oh. Ow. Oh, rubber bands. You bite rubber bands? Jiggy loves to bite rubber bands. Okay, will you? Alright, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, Aaron at the Cat Connection told me that um, although Lolly Kadoodle does not recommend washing the beds, that Aaron has had no problem washing the beds in cold water, not drying them. Because this felted wool process requires heat, so if the water um, is warm or hot, or if you put it in a dryer, you're going to change the composition of the wool again. So you just want to make sure that you're not applying any heat to it um, if you wash it, I think. But they, they haven't had any issues. Um, so I think that covers everything. Also, um, our arrival video is such a hit that so many people ordered the bed and this is a little unusual for our reviews, but have already reported back how much they like it and um, how much their their cat reacted like Charlie and Trig did. So um, that's really exciting. I love to hear about how other cats react and like it. Um, so I thank you guys for reporting back and posting photos on Facebook and um, even videos. That's um, so fun for me too because it helps me know what to recommend to people. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.